Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. I am the Spirited Maker and today we are going to do a test of etching. I was watching a Pask Makes video and he used a 9 volt battery to etch on metal. So I thought we'd give that a try today, see how well it works. And we may also try instead of a battery, seeing if just a, old, a little, you know, AC to DC battery or power brick will do the same thing so we're going to test it out on steel and aluminum i've already polished them up so that hopefully we'll be able to tell the difference where the etching is and then we'll see how deep the etching goes how how wear resistant it is so let me get stuff set up i'm gonna mask off sections with this vinyl tape and cut out a, a design or something and that's the area we'll etch so give me a second to get some salt water because you need salt water, a 9 volt battery, and some Q-tips to dab on it. That's how he did it. We're going to try it. We'll see how well it works. Etching with a 9 volt battery. All right, in the past make video, he used positive as the grounding clamp. I think that's positive. Yeah. So we'll do the same. And he would take a Q-tip, dip it in the salt water, and then just dab it on to this and he said it took about 15 minutes so I'm sure I'm gonna be speeding up stuff here so we'll see how it goes might want to be able to see let's see And I'm doing a 17 because it's a 17 millimeter wrench in it. I just wanted it so I can tell.
So that's been over 10 minutes. Let's see if that did anything. Can't really tell like this. We're gonna have to pull it off. Pull off the vinyl tape and see if it was successful. This stuff sticks. show that it's not it actually works that was a little over 10 minutes of etching on it I mean it's not superficial it's not surface layer well I'm sure it is but it's tough you can definitely see the etch smooth nice so we know it works on steel. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna try it again on some aluminum. Let me get all that set up and we'll get to it. All right, I'm back. We're gonna uh, time-lapse this thing too or speed it up. But I'll have a chunk of aluminum bar I uh, taped it off and marked out a cross. Oops, we'll see how well it turns out with aluminum. All right, let me get my ground back. All right, here we go. All right, that's been 10 minutes on the aluminum. Let me get the tape off and see if it did anything. I, and we'll do, I'll let you know some of my observations in a second. There you have it. It definitely etches it. That's pretty neat. And it really only takes a nine volt battery, some Q-tips, some salt water, and a couple wires. And you can etch, also tape, I guess. Some way to mask it off. So what is my conclusions? I learned that you can do some etching in metal relatively cheap and easy. That's pretty neat. And I had fun. I hope you did too. I learned something. So uh, an observation definitely between the uh, steel. Look at the Q-tips I used on the steel. Dark, definitely rusty, grungy. The ones on aluminum, gray, not nearly as you know, fouled out looking as the ones I used on the iron. That's pretty interesting. So there's definitely a difference. And with that, my friends, thank you for sharing a little bit of time with me today. We learned something, we had a little fun. I appreciate your time. As always, friends, God bless, and I'll see you next time.
please like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'll catch you later.